Okay, so in this example, I want to talk specifically about audio keyframes because um, this new keyframe capability really gets interesting with audio. So here's kind of a typical example. I have some B-roll, and then I have this interview clip with Mitch talking about what we're watching, and we cut back some B-roll, we cut back to Mitch, we cut back to some B-roll. So kind of a typical thing, and then I have some music playing underneath it, okay? So normally what you want to do is you want to have the music drop down in volume while Mitch is talking. Right, you want to duck the audio. You want to duck the audio, yeah. And the typical way to do that is to use the range tool. So I can go up here, I can press the letter R for the range tool, and then I'll drag a little range, start a little before, go to out there, and then I'm going to drop the audio down. And I'll drop it down quite a bit so we can really hear the difference. Now if I play that back, Seeing things from the sky takes a whole different perspective than when you're on the ground. And that's what's so unique and really so spiritual about flying. It's nice. Okay. It's nice so, and that's, that's what we've done before. It's not really something new, but it works really great. But the thing is, what happens is if you need to make a change, for instance, I'll hit A to go back to the select tool. Let's say we want to watch more of this opening shot before we hear Mitch talk. So what we could do is just trim out this gap clip and that way we can watch more of the opening shot. Ah, but your keyframes are still... Yeah, stable. now they're off. And in previous versions of Final Cut, you would have to drag each one of these over separately. Ugh. You know, there's no way yeah. to select multiple ones. So now you can select multiple ones with a shift key, but it's actually better than that. Check this out. When you're working with audio, I'm going to go back to the range tool, and I'm going to drag a range around those keyframes. No. That doesn't work with video, what you just showed us. No. Only no. audio. Right, because the range tool works, it, it won't work on video like this, but on audio, you can select those keyframes with the range tool, and now that they're selected, I can move them as a group ah. and keep their relationship, right? It's huge. Which is huge. And the other huge thing I like about it, once we've established the right amount to duck the audio, you know, the next time I go to the next one, I could just use the range tool again, and I could drag the audio down, and, but I wouldn't be sure. Copy and paste. Copy and frames, paste. Baby. Yes, yes. So mm -hmm. if I choose Edit Keyframes, Copy, Option Shift C, and I'll go to this next clip, Edit Keyframes, Paste, Option Shift V. Oops. Let's make sure the clip is selected. Option Shift V. There we get our keyframes. Now they're not in quite the right place, but that's so easy to fix. R for the range tool. Drag it over these guys and move them in. Okay. So it works just perfectly. Maybe I want to move these back out a little bit, but I know the levels are right. I know I've dropped this down exactly the right amount. So it's if amazing. I go into that shot. Really so spiritual about flying. But when you shoot something through the air, it takes on a whole new meaning. It takes okay, so maybe I'd back those up a little bit more, but you get the idea there how easy it is to select and move, especially with audio keyframes. It's just a really Well, that's because you do so feature. much work with audio at the end of the day. You know, you yes. want to get your audio mix right. It's just, th this is a huge feature in terms of uh, uh, saving time. Big time saver.